Okay, ink is all set up for driving. I've got to fill this mobile hay rack unit up, stuff it with hay to bring to the yews. Because tomorrow I've got a film crew coming and I'll be delivering a round bale of hay to the yews that they want to film. So this is a temporary one night only meal for them because their hay in the field is finished. So I'm pulling the hay out of here from over there and I have to maneuver around the likes of you, don't I? Yes, Kestrel and Crystal and the other yo lambs. Oh, and Ebony, who's sitting there happily munching hay over there. So that's what I'm gonna do is fill that baby up with hay now. So the yeos have come back across the field because they've heard the quad. And little bits figured out there's a hay trailer. I'm going to tow this up into the field so I have to open their gate. They're going to all come crashing through the gate looking for food. A second helping. Not getting a second helping, ladies. You're just getting your night's hay. Uh, it's not is it acting the maggot. Failing twine frays after a while. Okay. There. Now, hay delivery for the girls. And look at that, would you? All onto the hay, because their round bale was finished. Now this is enough to last them for a night. The ring feeder, which is up there, I've moved the ring feeder uh, to expose the leftover hay. But uh, this will only last about one night or a day and a half because uh, there's not a huge amount in it, whereas a round bale can last uh, about a week. Oh, they're hungry ladies. Yum, yum, yum. Now, I have an apparatus so that it doesn't roll backwards. I pick up the joint or pull out the plug. These legs swing down. By the way, this is something that I designed uh, a couple of years ago. So those legs swing down and uh, 
I'm gonna have to do this with two hands. I can't do it with the one hand. Can I do it with the one hand? I can't. I'm not that strong anymore. I used to be very, very strong. So the haymobile is being well eaten from. Now, look at that. Everybody's got a place for their head to go. <laughs> Hungry ladies. But uh, this is my brake system. It's a triangular leg. And this goes in here to prevent it from um, spinning off. But what's also really handy is one of the tires has seized. This one on this side has seized and is flat. Where is it? There it is. So it's just dragging along and we've made a bit of a track. That's okay. Anyway, I think I have happy sheep now. They'll be happy for the next 24 hours, munching from the haymobile. I'll show you, they've pretty much demolished what was in the ring feeder. There was a bit left over uh, from, uh, they hadn't quite been able to get and I moved the ring feeder and um, tossed out the few bits earlier today. And they ate all those. I'm, or rather, I'm pretty sure they've eaten it all. Yeah, it's pretty much cleaned out now up here. So tomorrow, I'll bring another round bale up to them. Ooh, listen, the pigeons all flying. So they've eaten up the last of what was in the ring feeder that I moved earlier. Happy sheep. Hey there, how are you? How are you? Yeah, you're so good. Yeah. And this is January and the gorse is still in bloom. So when gorse goes out of bloom, Kissing goes out of style. So you always want gorse to be in bloom. Anyway, there we go. Job done for the yos, at least for today and tonight.